Oh, hi, it's Rob, and this is Sonia, my hi. roommate. Uh, she's asked me to help her put in a uh, TV stand or a, a TV wall mount so that we can move her TV over to a wall that's over here, uh, which you probably can't see real well because, you know, lights and stuff. Uh, so we're going to do that today, and I uh, figured to bring you guys along for the, uh, for the sheer entertainment value. <laughs> This is what we do. All right. So after uh, looking around quite a bit, we decided to put it about in here uh, because that's a pretty decent thing. Now this is a nice articulating mount so that we can move the TV back and forth. The, the TV itself fits in this space pretty nice, but it's got about one inch of clearance between that wall and this side. So it's a little sketchy. The problem is, is we can't mount it right in the center because the stud is 16 inches away from here. So it's about in here somewhere. And that offsets it over this way a little bit. So the articulating mount is a very good idea. We'll be able to move it as necessary to be able to get the closet door open and things like that. So the first thing we want to do is get the stud located. So, we'll go about there. Now, because this is a vertical mount, it makes it a little easier. Uh, I want to be able to try and get a plumb line. So we're using this part of the level, which just shows us nice, uh, nice up and down plumb line. There are other ways that you can do this that can work just as well too. Is you can do a uh, a drop line where you put in the first hull and then just hang a rope with a weight <laughs> on it. I just dropped the tape. Uh, hang a rope with a weight on it and let it stabilize and that will give you a straight up and down plumb line as well. This was just, I happen to have this, so uh, all good to go. use this as a template so now we have these three holes that are marked exactly where we want them now all we have to do is figure out how to put holes in the wall <laughs> okay starting out with the 3 16 bit uh, the lag bolts are actually metric but the 3 16ths is just about the right size for the main shaft. One of the reasons I put the tape on over the plaster is to keep the plaster surface from being too damaged by the drilling. Uh, it actually, it does help. It really does. 
But now, we can take the tape off. Most of it, anyway. And we have these three fairly clean holes. Okay. So now we want to make sure that we've got this the right side up. I'm going to guess that arrow pointing up <laughs> is the right way up. Let me, uh, let me take a look at the... Uh, at the instructions first. So yes, there's this arrow on here pointing up and that is the direction that this needs to be assigned. There's also this little thing on here that says top but this doesn't spin very well so I don't think that means it's an actual top that you use. I think that means that this is the side that goes up. <laughs> Not tightening these down all the way yet. I want to try and have some looseness. That's pretty good. So that part's done. Okay, the back of the TV has a standard 400 millimeter Visa mounting plate. Um, this is pretty much the same as you'll find on a lot of computer monitors. And the mounting plate fits on with these four holes. These are uh, M6, which is also pretty standard. Uh, there are some things like M4, M5, and M8, but these are M6. Okay, I don't know. There we are. That is mounted. Okay, I'm going to leave you there. So just to show that the dogs are being a part of it, this is Isis. And she is standing exactly in the place that I need to be to mount the you know, TV on there. Piper is uh, out in the kitchen somewhere, so... All right, I'm going to take advantage of this time. Did you get it? Okay, sorta. Whoopee. 
Let me uh, turn this off. Oh, uh, it looks like it. I see a light. I don't think there's anything plugged into it. It should. There we go. There we go. It's all right. Yeah. So now. Cool, cool. All right, she's working. No. Plugging in the fire stick. This is going to be a challenge. <laughs> you want, need more light? Oh, you got it. Okay. What is why is this control not wanting to work? There you go. I was probably thinking that is uh Yeah yeah yeah. yeah it looks like it's trying to load. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Rob. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, yeah. All right, we got it. Oh, hey, it's Rob. This Hi. Is, this is Sonia. She's my roommate, and uh, she's asked me to help her install a TV stand. <laughs> the dogs. Always with the dogs. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, the dogs are gonna, dogs are always a part of stuff. All right, let's try it again. <laughs> Wait for it to stabilize here. What is, what is this? Oh, that's the, that's on the it's on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> are you sure like, you didn't smoke? Great. <laughs> maybe you need to. Maybe that's the problem. No, no, no. <laughs> That, that, that's would, that my, would not. That's that would usually not do my well. problem. Is there's I don't I don't have enough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be using power tools. I would like to keep most of my fingers about me. Yeah. <laughs> okay.